Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time and we are here to check out our Blood Flame Sight build. Yes sir, and what are we using? We are using the Grape Sight Upgrade of Plus 25 with the Quality Affinity and we also have the Spinning Weapon Ash War equipped on it. You can get the Spinning Weapon Ash War from Rogia and if he's not around, just collect his bell bearing in at the round table hall and give it to the Twin Maiden Huss and you'll be able to purchase it off them. For the gravesite, you'll have to farm it and with a 112 discovery, it took me like 30, 40 minutes to farm it. And we're starting off from the lake facing cliffs and there's a graveyard here with three skeletons who have this weapon. And if you come up here and right at the end, there are two guys over here. So it took me like 30, 40 minutes, so I hope you have a better run. Yes, sir. And the quality affinity gives us an attribute scaling of B in strength and dexterity. So that is pretty good. And if you see the character status on the right side, we got most of our points in strength and dexterity. And the passive effects of this weapon, well, causes blood loss buildup. And that's why we got the Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Yes, sir. Dragon Communion Seal upgraded plus 10. Because we will be using the Golden Wow, Flame Grant Me Strength, and the Blood Flame blade incantations kina mask is for fashion but the beast champion armor is pretty handy because it's got a high poise and good damage negation because well the spinning weapon ash war the only drawback is that you got to be really close to your enemy so i would advise you to have an armor set which has high poise and well we've covered this one now in the talisman's department we've got the shot of alexander being its sword insignia milson's prosthesis and the flask of wonders physics we've got the tony crack tier Dexterity not crystal tear. You can use the strength not crystal tear if you want. And I've also got Godric's Great Rune active, which gives five additional points in each attribute, so that's 40 points extra. So if you feel that my character status is a bit, you know, dodgy, it's not dodgy. It's cause of Godric's Great Rune. Oh my God. So that was the light attacks doing the trick. Now on this guy, I'm gonna try and sneak up behind him and give him the full blast of the spinning weapon Ash of War. Look at that, not bad. I've seen over 7,000 actually. And with this guy, we're gonna give him, first we're gonna give him a heavy attack. Bang! Woo! Okay, let's do it one more time, guys. Let's do it one more time. I want to show you some higher figures. Um, I have done it over 7,000, about 7,200 actually. So let's just give it another shot, and then we should call it quits. And I will be testing this out against the Elden Beast, Dragon Lord, Placida Sax, and Miss Melania as well. She's a pretty lady. She doesn't like people getting too close, so. I don't know how we're going to go with there, but we'll give it a shot, for sure. And I shall be uploading those as we go, but right now, let's just do the same. So a little bit slow, a little bit slow, but hey, it's done the trick. Let's see if we can get a proper spinning slash spinning weapon as you wore in without being interrupted. No, no sir, he says. He says no sir. Okay. And this guy, let's see if we can get that s magical 7,000 number. There we go. Look at that. 7,183. So this is pretty good, guys. This is, uh, I think, a pretty good build. If you have suggestions to make it better, please do let me know and we shall work on it. And like I said, I'll be testing it against the big boys. And those videos will be coming up in the next few days as well. Otherwise, this is it for this one. Do check the description for useful video links. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please do so. Any love and support from your end means the world to me. And yep, this is it for this one. Until next time, happy gaming. Take care and bye-bye.